this car. <laughs> Throwing snowballs at the reindeer. I see you. <laughs> she looks so funny in her robe, but you guys, she is obsessed with it. Hey, no, 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 that's Gigi's Christmas tree. We don't touch the decorations. You can put it the snowballs. Go ahead, throw my, throw my reindeer. <gasps> throw my dada. I just caught her throwing the snowballs at the reindeer. I just caught her throwing the snowballs at the reindeer. Throw it! Whoa! <laughs> throw some at the Grinch! Whoa! <laughs> you look so crazy! Oh, Grinch isn't plugged in. Here, do you want me to plug him in? Hold my camera. Be careful with it, okay? Can you hold it? Be very careful. Hold on. Don't touch it. Mommy's gonna plug in the Grinch. Good job, good job. Okay, hey, I think Grinch is on. Say good morning, Grinch. <gasps> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Look at this hair. Good morning! Happy Vlogmas Day 12! Save up your paw paw so that we can wrap it good. Because we don't want it to make you fall. Okay? One, two, three! Here, want me to hold your hands? Okay. Ooh, uh, we're on the reindeer! <laughs> this is my left hand. Whoa! <laughs> left hand. Boom! Oh, I missed! <laughs> Ready? Boom! Oh! Okay, that's it. We're switching. You ready for this one? You ready for this one? Yeah. Boink! Hey, mama. Hey. <laughs> I got your head. I'm gonna do it again. Ready, 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 ready? Better run! Run! Oh, I missed! Ready, 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 ready? Boop! <laughs> I'm gonna get the Grinch. Snowballs are so cool, they actually feel like snow. All right, back to my editing cave I go. Come on! Come on! Diggy put her in them clonkers with her Reebok suit on. <laughs> Yes, way. 
We need to take a bath and brush our teeth. <laughs> of our vlogmas bible study challenge sorry for the lighting it's probably not that great the sun feels so good so i'm just gonna sit here okay so this chapter has so many little sections i definitely encourage you to go in and read the entire chapter you can get so much goodness from it but i want to really focus on two separate sections today and those are talking all about fear and anxiety which i feel like can resonate with so many of us if not all of us and also being ready for Jesus's return. So I'm gonna jump straight into scripture today. Verse 22 says, don't worry about your life, what you will eat or about the body or what you will wear for life is more than food and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they don't sow or reap. They don't have a storeroom or a barn yet God feeds them. Aren't you worth much more than the birds? And can any of you add one moment to your lifespan by worrying? I love this so much. Basically what it comes out to is that if you are on Jesus' side, there is absolutely no reason to have fear or to have anxiety. And I know that sounds like such a bold statement to say. And you're probably thinking if you are somebody that struggles with like severe fear or anxiety, it's probably easy for you to think, how could you say that? You're like, you're not in my shoes. You haven't been through my circumstances, but God makes promises. And two of the promises he says is that he protects and he provides for the faithful. And like I said yesterday, God doesn't break his promises. You can't find it once in scripture. I want you guys to know that something that I really, really, really struggled with for a long, huge chunk of my life was anxiety. I would worry and fear. I would just have these heart palpitations or shortness of breath or panic attacks over things that I couldn't even kind of pinpoint why. There were other times where I knew where it was stemming from, but I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop that feeling of being so fearful or so anxious. But then I came to know Jesus, like truly know Jesus, be in his word, read his promises, pray to him, talk to him, build a relationship with him. And you guys, it's an unexplainable peace. I'm not gonna say that I don't ever deal with those things or face fear, face anxiety, or face worry. They do still come, but now I know how to handle it. I truly, when I face these things now, I give it to God. I truly pray. I say, God, take my fear, take my anxiety. Fill that space with joy and with peace and with understanding and trust. And you guys, it is a game changer. Okay, I wanna go back to that verse really quickly. I love the part where it says, aren't you worth much more than the birds. He's saying that the birds, the ravens, they don't sow, they don't reap, but God provides for them. They have their food, they have their shelter. God, here goes my camera overheating again. And I don't know if you can hear the birds right now, but they are chirping. And every single time I hear that, it always makes me stop and just think about how God provides and he protects those who are faithful to him. God's got you. So now I want to hop into the next section, which is all about being ready for Jesus's return. And I know that sounds scary and fearful, but again, we don't have to be fearful for it. Verse 40, you should be ready because the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect. So nobody knows the day or the hour that the Lord is going to return, but we know that he will return. And when he does, we will all have to stand before him and he will judge every single one of us for the good things we've done for the bad things we've done and if we have asked for forgiveness and if we've confessed and repented our sins we are forgiven jesus died on the cross so that we are forgiven if we truly put our faith and our hope in jesus we ask for forgiveness and we believe that he is our lord and savior there's nothing nothing you could have done you are never too far if you truly love jesus and you want to be a part of his kingdom you are 
you're invited. Verse 35 says, be ready for service and have your lamps lit. You are to be like people waiting for their master to return. So we're called to be faithful servants of God. And how do we even do that? We do it by acting like Jesus. We love, we pray for one another. We have compassion on one another. We forgive one another. We seek out the lost people. We bring people to Jesus. That's how we faithfully serve the Lord. And it says in verse 35 that the faithful servants will be rewarded by God, but the servants who neglect these responsibilities and aren't doing these things will be punished. When he returns, those who are doing their jobs, he will bless them. Okay, I think we gotta go to Best Buy today and get a new vlog camera because this one keeps overheating. But yeah, that wraps up today's chapter 12. I hope you guys got something from it as always. And let's just get on with the rest of the vlog. Love ya. Are you ready? Say ready. ready. We're on day 12 of our nativity advent. <gasps> Halo, what is that? What is inside there? Piggy. A piggy. Wipe those tears away. Did you get a piggy? Show them. Say oink, oink. <laughs> okay, that's our nativity. We're gonna go into our giggy boxes. Let's do our chant, ready? Giggy box, giggy box. Which one do you wanna do? Number nine, go ahead. What's inside, what's inside? What's in there? Get it, mommy. Get it, mommy? <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Yeah, you did it. We got a puzzle. What else you got? A fox. It looks like pickle, huh? Does that look like pickle? Pickle. Got uh, another eel. No. Oh. And a panda puppet. Panda puppet. Yeah. This is Goofy, the dog. I love these little Disney things. They're so cute. This is Goofy. Goofy. Can you say Goofy? Goofy. Say Goofy. I feel like these later boxes have so much more of that. What's this, Ducky? Quack, quack. And you also have another tattoo. And every time we would say, show me your tattoos, she would say, tats. Okay, let's show them everything we got. What color? A quack quack. And then what color is this? Yellow. Yellow. And then what's this? Fox. A fox. Good job. And then what's this? A puzzle. And what's this? A bear, but it's a panda bear. And who's this? Goofy. What's this? It's not a snake, it looks like one, it's an eel. You can pick my number for me, which one? Yeah. 10. Okay, mommy will do box number 10. What's in here today? <laughs> of course the one day she's not here is the box I pick, it says, See me for a gift. Jay Clay went and took a well-deserved staycation. She's getting massage, she's getting reflexology, she's getting pamper, basically. So she's out and about right now, and this says, see me for a gift. So I'll FaceTime her. Do you see what this says? <laughs> Yay! Do you want me to wait till you get home? I'm excited. 